So the real reason I came into the garage tonight, yeah, I don't mind the glasses and shit, you know, I'm nerding it out today. The real reason I came into the garage tonight is because I wanted to, like, get the fuel tank shit all situated. I got to order some lines and shit for it. So I'm going to just, like, cut off all the extra stock shit that I don't need off the fuel tank. And then um, go ahead and get it ready to um, put all the and fittings and all that shit in it. So this is it right here. The fuel tank is right there. It's a long-ass fuel tank. I thought about going with a fuel cell, but I'm going to keep the... Um, the fuel tank like OEM placement and all that shit and then I'm gonna delete all these lines right here this one and the one that goes back there goes back there in the corner is just gonna be looped together this right here is the um is the feed yeah it's all blurry shit this right here is the feed and this one's the return so what I'm gonna do is this is gonna eventually get cut and this is gonna get cut put an and fitting right here probably like a six return and an eight feed or might do a ten feed you know what I'm saying? Then I might do a 10 feed with an 8 return. It all depends. I don't know exactly like how I'm going to do that yet. Probably go with like a 340 or a 440 fuel pump or something like that. You know, push hella fuel. I'm running 85, so you got to go with a bigger fuel pump for sure. All right, so this is what I meant right here when I meant like cut all them fuel lines and shit. So you see this? This went to like a little uh, charcoal canister. That was in the back of the MR2. Um, I'm not going to run that. I don't need that on no K-Series. I'm not going to run that in the car anyway, even if I was but if I was running that Toyota motor. So what I'm going to do with these little line is, I'm going to just take these. I'm going to cut it off, like right here. And then I'm going to cut it off back down here. And I'm going to run like an Amphid in, probably like a small, probably like a Dash 4. Probably dash two and fitting right here and over there and just loop it back around. Then for my feed, for my fuel setup, for now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably run like a just like a 340 fuel pump. Not my bad, not a 340, probably like a 440, 480, something like that. Somewhere around there. Something big that could suck up a lot of fuel. And then um I'm gonna cut off the return, make it a bigger return, and I'm gonna cut off the feed right there and I'm gonna make it a bigger feed but I still have to clean up the fuel tank I probably like pressure wash it whatever get it all painted I don't need to paint it probably just pressure wash it I'll probably put like some rust oleum or some shit on it so it doesn't rust but setting up the fuel tank for the fuel setup shouldn't be hard I also thought about like just cutting right here putting the and fit in and running like a dash 12 or a dash 10 down into the tank let it sit right here for a pickup and if I run a dash 12 I could run run a dash 12 out all the way through here when I run the, the hose all the way down that'll be the pickup there'll be no fuel fuel pump in here just run it out and uh, put a dash 12, that dash 12 will go out into like a Y, and then I'll be running like probably two dash works or something. I thought about that as well, but I don't know if there was a fuel filter that'll just fit in here. You know what I'm saying? If there's a fuel filter that'll fit inside the tank without the fuel pump, if you guys know about that, then let me know, because I would love to run like a double pumper on this shit, just run like a freaking dash 12 out of here or dash 10 then run it to do dash 8 lines or something and just have it pick up fuel that way because I would like to eliminate the fuel pump inside the tank so I wouldn't have to drop the tank anymore but I really need a good fuel filter like this hole right here isn't really that big I know I'm going to spend a lot of money on lines but if I get a fuel cell I'm going to have to spend that much more money on lines to run from all the way up here, all the way under the car, and all the way back here. And I'm not trying to, you know what I'm saying? Not that I'm not trying to do it, but I'd just rather the stock placement fuel tank. I'm gonna try to keep a, a lot of shit as OEM as possible. Like a lot of people cut these firewalls back here. I'm doing my hardest not to try to cut the firewall. 
the worst I'm trying to do is probably like cut some holes in here whatever I'm not trying to cut the trunk either if I got to mount like an intercooler what I'm gonna try to do also is I thought about just mounting the intercooler like under here in the rear I mean this is not a bad spot as well I can mount a nice ass intercooler in there and get away with that and then I'll just run the intercooler pipe in back between the subframe and the trunk and that shit would also be clean you know I'm saying no one would expect that shit either but what I am gonna do is just like the MR2 on 1320 I'm gonna run the um, the exhaust straight back through here so in the back right here I'll probably put them dead center probably like two four inch pipes coming right here one for the wastegate one for the exhaust so that shit's gonna be pretty clean um, you guys already know suspensions being upgraded I plan to get the um, fuck what's his name uh, Hux Racing rear suspension but that's gonna wait for a little bit still gotta order struts and all that and coilovers I'll let me pull this shit plan to get some seats I was going to run the S2K seats, but, hold on, oh shit, this shit is hard, there we go, damn, that shit is hard as fuck to pull, I don't got a last right there, I just got the little, um, the little wire, so I just had to pull that shit, also, if anyone got an MR2, and they want a clean dash, let me know, because I'm going to, do something else with my dash because I need the speedometer and all the RPM shit. I can't do that with the K20 tranny and the MR2 dash. So it's a clean NA dash. If you want one or if you got a beat up one you want to send me, send me yours and then I'll um, send you mine. Here we go. This shit. So for those of you wondering, like the paint job that the MR2 is going to be, it's a little hard to see. I'll put some light up in here, but it's probably a little hard to see and whatever. But this is actually a Subaru, not a Subaru, fuck. Oh, hell, maybe say Subaru. This is a Evo Silver, the silver from an Evo. But I don't know if you can see it when I move. You see the little flakes in it? They have gold flakes in it, so when it's in the sun, like it really pops a lot. So that's why I decided to choose this. I had the silver on my Evo, but I didn't have gold flakes in it, so that's what I decided to do. You really can't see it, it's fucking bright. See, there's my little homemade fender washer. It's fucking it's hard to see right here. Those are black. It's my, my little fender washers and shit. I'm gonna order some good ones for, for now. I just threw that on there, but it's coming together. Another reason why I didn't want to run a fuel cell, because I'd have to throw the fuel cell up here, and then I got to reroute everything for my battery and shit. I could get a little mini battery and tuck it up underneath the headlight, up under there, but I don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is just leave the fuel tank where it is, like cut it out like I showed you guys. I really do want to run those double pumpers, so if they got an inline or an in-tank fuel filter that I could just drop in the tank, and I'll fucking do that shit. But this is what I'm doing on the MR2 now. I already have the wires all boxed up, ready to be sent out. So that's gonna be the next thing. Like the very first thing after the new year is gonna be the fuel tank and the wiring for the motor. Once I get that down, then I'll work on the transmission. Motor mounts are already on the way. So I'll work on the transmission. I'll probably made up the transmission and motor mount. Mm. Nah, I ain't gonna do that. I was gonna just drop it in here, see how it looks and whatever. Try to get some welding done on the manifold, but I'm not gonna do that shit. Um, tomorrow, I'm gonna try to clean out the garage so it's not as junky in here. You guys probably think, like, it's a pig pen and shit. I gotta work on my mom's car tomorrow, too. It's a problem with that. I'll probably post a video on if I need help. But that's what's going on right now. Um, I'll probably work on this a little bit tonight. Probably cut off the the wires and shit that I need cut off. I might post a video on it, I might not. 
All right. Thanks for watching.